Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my favorites and fails for the month of November. But before I do, I want to give you guys a huge thank you. Everybody who wished me well wishes. Thank you so much. You guys know I've been under the weather. I probably sound super nasally right now, but we're just going to push through. <laughs> I'm doing two videos today because I'm trying to kind of pre-film so I can go to the doctor. <laughs> no, I haven't gone to the doctor yet. I know. I've just been kind of sitting in bed with hot chocolate and sitting in bed and sitting in bed and petting Charlie and sitting in bed. <laughs> but thank you guys. I appreciate you so, so much. I really, really do. Also, I want to remind you guys or let you guys know in case you didn't know, Christian Audette is having their site-wide sale and it started on Black Friday and it's ending Cyber Monday. My collection with them is a part of the sale. 20% off whether you buy the bundle or individually. You guys know my lipsticks and liners are now sold individually. You get them 20% off. And on on top of that, $70, if you purchase $70 worth of product from them, you're going to get a free lipstick from the CEO collection. So I just wanted to remind you guys, and now we can get into my favorites and fails. And I'm going to start off with something that I swear saved me so much when I recently went out of town. I went to Louisiana for a wedding and if you're like me, a makeup lover, you like a wedding is one of those times where you want to look your best. Oh my gosh, this mirror. Okay, so and I think not my last, it might have been my last or the one previous to that. I'm not sure. My whole brain is in a fog right now. <laughs> but I recently spoke about the Ricky Tall mirror from Glamcore. I purchased that mirror fell in love with it. I love it so much. It is in my bedroom right now. It's where it stays. I like to record on it in my bedroom because I don't have any lighting in there and it helps so much. Well, I had seen really great reviews of the Ricky Skinny. So I bought that one in anticipation for my trip to Louisiana and I have it in my hands right now. I got it on Beautylish. I'm going to show you the actual mirror because this case does not come with the mirror, but I felt like this case was absolutely necessary. And I definitely suggest if you're going to be traveling with this mirror, which is what I intend to do with it the most, you, you need the case, but I'll get into that. This is the mirror, the Ricky Skinny. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can see everything. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the lights above me. Anywho, <laughs> this is the Ricky Skinny. You can tell this is the perfect size for a lip mirror and to travel with. You turn it on right down here, turn it on, and then there's different settings. You can go brighter, brighter, and brighter, and brighter and then you can turn it down as well. There's even a Bluetooth option on here where you can hook up your phone. I'm gonna turn this off so I can get this light off of me. Ah, there we go, turned it off. <laughs> you can hook up your phone and you put it on the center of this. Let me show you what that looks like. So you can take selfies. If you're into social media, you can do your videos, whatever you like, and the thing sits right in the center of the mirror. So this is the case. The case I got off of the Glamcore site and then the actual mirror I bought off of Beautylish. But this is such a must have if you're gonna be traveling with this mirror. I love it. So in the front part right here, you have this compartment right there where I'm gonna take my mirror, so you put it in the front. So that goes there and then it, it will attach so you can protect your mirror and then all your accessories are right underneath it and everything is protected. This is the magnetic piece that goes in the center of the mirror that will hold your phone. This right here is another mirror which is also magnetic but this one is a magnified mirror. I don't use that as much whenever I'm doing my makeup. Uh, I do it when I'm plucking my brows. <laughs> and then down here you have your cord to charge it. And then this is the stand right here. And I like the stand because it's not a one position stand. It has these little grippies down at the bottom, if you see that right there. So you can have it where it's more upright. You can move it out, move it out, and move it out even further so that it's at an angle if you want it to or more upright. I love this stand. And the case, I'm telling you, if you're gonna be traveling with this mirror, if you buy this mirror, this case is amazing. And it's really nice and sturdy. So you don't have to worry about breaking the mirror. I love it. Anywho, let's move on to the next thing. Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is something that I waited. I wanted to see reviews. I wanted to see how it worked. I really 
wanted to make sure that I wanted this before I purchased it. And I blame Michelle Wong for this because she was the final end all that I just like, all right, I'm purchasing. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I did because I think that she did such a fabulous job. And these two products right here are my favorites. The first one is the Smoky Eye Brick and the shade is, I believe, Signature. I get confused on that. I think it's Signature. But anywho, this is what it looks like. It's one of these softer ones. I love this so, so much. I think the shades in here blend out so beautifully. This is an expensive palette, so I expected, you know, packaging to be on point, and I expected the shadows to be on point, and they really, truly are. They basically blend themselves out. They are very pigmented. They're not, you know, something really lackluster that you have to sit here and keep building and building and building and put a lot of effort into. I love the mirror in here. I love the size of the compact. I wasn't sure if I was going to like that initially, how small it is, but I do. I love it and I love the case. I feel like this type of packaging is something that I would go for because this is so luxe. To me, this just screams luxury. I love this enamel and I don't know, just, I don't know what you call this, but it's, it's beautiful. I love the gold, everything. The same thing for the lid lusters. My favorite color is meek. Oh my goodness. Again, we have that same packaging. Absolutely beautiful. I think that if you like the hourglass scattered light shadows, you will like these. But this shade right here in particular, I've used this one several times. Again, this one's called Mink, and it gives the perfect smoky eye. Oh my geez, it is so pretty. I don't know what oh my geez is, but um, it's good. It's good. It's really good. <laughs> Let's talk blush. I have been using this one quite a bit. You guys have seen this in my description box quite a bit to the extent that I have had to put it down so that I would quit wearing it and wear something else. But the Patrick Ta, I have to, this one is my favorite and it's called She's Sincere. You can see it right there. It is so flippin' pretty. It is the perfect neutral, cool, peachy pink does that make any sense? <laughs> this shade is just absolute utter perfection. I do have one thing that I want to say though, a little bit of an inconsistent, inconsistency because I went to go see Kelsey recently. If you saw my vlog, I went to her house and I was playing with her blush and her blush in the same color. I would use say a brush like this one right here. This is the designer pro from Sonia G and I would pick it up and you can see I get product on there, but not a lot. Hers, I noticed, this is very weird. So this is inhibition. So you can see that is how much I got from the Patrick Ta. And then I'm gonna flip that brush over and I'm gonna pick up inhibition, same thing. Do you see how much product gets on there? Her blush gets that type of product, that amount of product on a brush like this. So I am confused. <laughs> I don't know if these are just, you know, one's pressed a little harder than the other, but I do want to mention that slight inconsistency. I still love this. For me, it works out just fine. I use one of my brushes that will pick up just a little bit more product, one that's a little bit more itchy scratchy, if you will. So it really digs into this, but I used a soft brush at her house and I picked it up. I was like, what the heck? Mine does not do this. So I don't know what that's about, but I love the color. I love the formula. This is very skin-like. It's not super matte. It's also not glittery. I just love it and I love the shade even though I kind of want to switch with Kel Because <laughs> I like how hers just get, picks up just a little bit easier So I don't know what that's about, but I still would definitely suggest it. It's so beautiful I love it. The other shade I have is adore me I think and it's just a little bit darker than this But this is the one that I reach for the most before I get into palettes I really want to switch things up and talk about a new fragrance that I am in love with and I know it's good when Kel says that I smell sexy. <laughs> Anytime Kelsey tells me that I smell sexy, I just get excited and it's only happened one other time. One other time. She said that she has liked other fragrances on me and that, you know, she'll use other words, but she's only used the sexy term one other time with Tom Ford and we all know Tom Ford is just, mm, is bae to me. This perfume right here from House of Siage. I recently did a um, updates video and I talked about some updates as well as some new things. 
they were so kind. They've been so kind to me. A, I am a huge fan of them now. I am a collector of their bow cases. I love the bow case for this collection, which is the Christian Cohen collection. But this fragrance, they sent me a sample of the fragrance and I lived for it. I went completely through the sample and I purchased the actual full size. And I love it. And Kelsey told me again that I smelled sexy and it was just like validation. <laughs> so this is the Christian Cohen with House of Siage. <sighs> Look at it. Look at it. You just do this and it goes over. Oh, I am in love. And it smells so, so good. I don't know. <laughs> I, can, I can smell it, but I can't smell it full on because my nose isn't working properly. But if you really enjoy more masculine scents, you will love this one. It's very warm. I'm horrible with scents. I am so horrible with this describing scents. So if I can find the notes to this, I will leave it down below. But I love this. And they recently sent me another one that I'm about to review for you guys. But uh, this is um, this is my new favorite. I have been reaching for this one above everything right now. It is my go-to. It's what I am picking up. And I love the case so much, the little box that it came in, that I keep it in the box because I just think it's beautiful. I love the checkerboard, everything. Anywho, moving on to two palettes, you guys have already heard me go on and 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 on about, but I'm going to go on and on about them again. I had to actually go back and look. Thank goodness I take notes for my videos because <laughs> I was like, haven't I talked about these palettes to death? And I have talked about them, but I haven't talked about them in my favorites. So I just have to mention them now because I would be lying if I didn't mention these palettes. The first one is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. Yes, if you watched my top palettes that I'm grabbing for the most, you're going to see these. You're going to see them. And it's still the case. It's still on my top drawer right here, barely fitting in there, but it's in there. I think this is so beautiful. I mentioned that if you don't love all the colors and you want more of just the nudes, that you definitely should go with the new nude palette. But if you want color, this one, it just, it gets me. I feel like I can do so many different looks with this and I've picked it up so many different times. I took this with me when I went traveling to Louisiana. I just, I love it so much. I'm not going to ramble on and I'm not going to ramble on about this one either. <laughs> this one has just been oh, all over the place. But again, I just use it so much. It is such a wearable palette. And this is from Pat McGrath, Divine Rose, Mothership 7. I, I could tell you, you know, it went on the Pat McGrath website, sold out. I don't know if it's coming back. I'm so clueless when it comes to this palette. It's like, I feel like I'm not even doing my job right because I don't know. I don't know. If you can get your hands on this palette and these are your colors, do it. Just do it. You will get so much use out of it. This shade right here for me is just, I, I just feel like I don't need to say anything. <sighs> All the colors in here, they are just exactly what I love, especially when I want to just do something that's easy. I don't have to think about it with this palette. I just know I can just start off with absolutely no idea of what I want to do, no direction, and I still come out with a beautiful look. It doesn't matter if I want something really sultry, smoky, I can get it with this. I can get something softer with this. I can get day-to-day -day looks. I can get glitter, which, you know, this is one of the repeat shades in here, which I don't like. I don't like the repeat shades, but I still adore this palette. And if you don't have all of the palettes, it is nice. It's just a nice one. It's just a good, it's a good one. And I love the packaging on it as well, because, you know, roses. Roses and orchids, they are my thing. And, uh, Pat, just make this one permanent. This one needs to be permanent. For me, this just needs to be permanent. That's, and done. Just make it permanent. I'm going to switch it up, keep you guys on your toes, and move on to fashion. The very first thing I want to talk about is this shirt right here. If you're thinking this looks familiar, it, it does, it does. I will insert a picture. <laughs> this shirt comes in several different color varieties, and I love the original one I had, which is more of like the pink, and then it had the, the, the orangey corals. This one has the green, and then down, oh, free people. They take all my money, all my money, 
all my money. I love them so much. And so when I saw this variation of the shirt, I absolutely had to have it. I love the bottom of it. Let's see. You can see my dirty pants. No. Well, the bottom, you're not going to be able to see it. Okay. Anyway, it has that scoop cut. So it's not straight along the bottom. It has that scoop, which I just find to be really, really flattering. And I love the neck on it, that it's not a true turtleneck all the way up, but it comes up the neck enough. It keeps you warm. It's a thermal. I just, I love it. I love it so much. And I love the other color as well. Speaking of <laughs> free people and taking all my money, <laughs> this jacket, do I have to say anything else? And really, it's a blazer. And, you know, the lights are shining on this, and you guys are probably thinking, does it look like that in real life? It does. It absolutely 100% does. I wore this in a video recently, and I talked about, I felt like I had to put it on in that video because... Usually by the time I get to my favorites, things are sold out. I believe this is still in stock. And if it's not, I'm so sorry, but I love this so much. I warned you guys ahead of time. Um, if you guys are wondering what size I am, I am a size extra small. That's the size this uh, blazer is right here, as well as my shirt. I just this is this is Mel. This is Mel, and it's so well made. This isn't the sequins on here don't feel like they're going to crunch up fold up or fall off. They, it's just, it's really, really, really well made, you guys. I am thinking that's probably going to be a part of my outfit for New Year's. I don't even know if I have plans for New Year's, to be completely honest, but if I do have plans, they are probably going to include that jacket. I have one more jacket for you guys. I could go on and on and on with clothing right now and shoes and everything else, but like I said, a lot of stuff ends up selling out and then I feel bad. This jacket I wore in, oh shoot, I wore it in one of my videos and I just wore a um, bodysuit right underneath. This is what it looks like. It's from Ralph Lauren. <laughs> I got it at um, Nordstrom. This is the front of it. It's very moto-esque, if you will. I love all the patchwork on it. Do you see the back? And it's slightly cropped, slightly. So it's not going to hit right at, well, I do have a long torso. So keep that in mind. If you are just a regular size on the torso, it's going to hit right at your hips. On me, it hits right above. And I just love the patches and everything on it. And I love the frayed edge on the bottom. It's just so cute. It is so cute. And I love also that it doesn't have a um, collar, like, the, you know, the flip over collar just it's just so good it's so good it's so good take this pair it with a beanie pair it with a scarf I like to wear big chunky boots and really high-waisted jeans with those I have a pair of oh I don't remember the brand of jeans but they are really high-waisted and a bodysuit underneath chunky heel boots it's amazing headed back into beauty I apologize I know these are sold out but they will be coming back as well as the face set they will be returning, so just keep your eyes out for them. And you guys, if you can, sign up for uh, text messages with Beautylish. You can call them. You can ask them. If there's something like this that's coming out or you know the launch date, you can call them. They are so amazing. Beautylish, their customer service, it just is rises above everything. This is the Sonia G Sky Set. One set was sent to me. Thank you, Sonia, and thank you, Beautylish. And then I, <laughs> I pre-ordered the second set. I already knew, just judging by the shapes, that I was going to love these brushes, and I absolutely do. If you want to see an in-depth review of these, the Sky Eye Set from Sonia G make sure you check out the video. I use all the brushes. I especially, especially love the flat definer. I've been using this nonstop for my inner corner. I really love this one right here, the jumbo blender, because you can get it look done all at one time, pack it on the lid and blend into the crease. One brush. This crease brush right here, the classic crease, and then the mini booster. I just think that's the cutest name in the entire world, the mini booster. These are so great. And if you have hooded eyes, smaller eyes, or anything like that, this is the set I would suggest for you. And then we also have the soft shader. This is great for the lid, but it's also really great because it's tapered to the tip so nicely. You can get on the lower lash line. You can get into that crease. You can go at your brow arch, everything. I just feel like this is such a well-rounded brush set. And again, I have two of them because... I can't have a dirty one over here and not have a clean one over here. 
problems. Speaking of brushes, big huge props to BK Beauty. Oh, Lisa, I'm so proud of you. I know I've talked to you. I know I've texted you. I know that I have DM'd you, but I have to tell you and I have to tell everybody else, I am so, so proud. Not only did you come up with a synthetic brush line that is for a beautiful cause and knocked me out of my socks, I am so here for the entire brush line, but then you added these. Then you added these two. As soon as I saw that you were releasing these, I purchased in my pre-order right then. I saw the video and I jumped on it because I love the first set so much. I just washed both of these kind of in a hurry because I've been using this one so I still have a little bit of foundation in them. But these are the two newest to the BK Beauty line and I am in love. I am not a foundation brush type of girl unless I just have to or if I'm demoing something or something like that. I love this brush for foundation and I've reached for it several times. That's why I still have a little bit of foundation in it because I rushed cleaned it last night knowing that I wanted it to be kind of clean for today's video and then I wasn't going to use it. I was like don't use it today but I have been grabbing for this and that is not like me. It is not like me to really go for a brush for my application of foundation. And I just, there's something about this one. The size is perfection. The way it moves on the skin and blends everything out. I feel like I use less product with this brush. It's just amazing. And this one is the 106. So the newest foundation brush. And of course you can use this for blush. You can use it for contour, whatever you like. They're all synthetic. So you can use them with anything you want. This one you can do your foundation with as well, but I've been using this for my bronzer and that's how I used it in the video. And if you like to stamp, like if you remember me a long time ago, I have this brush from Sephora that I called the microphone brush. I, it literally looks like a microphone, it's so big. That's, I would compare that to this, but this one is softer and will disperse the powder a lot better. So if you're somebody who likes to stamp in your powder and get extra coverage, you want it to look really smooth, this is a perfect brush for that. But I like this for bronzer because it's so big and it just goes around the face and blends out beautifully so great job this is number 105 and then 106 now we are getting into the fail portion of the video and my voice is trying to give out on me and i have quite a few fails for the month so i'm going to try and make this quick <laughs> the very first thing i want to say is not a total fail but it doesn't work for me because it breaks me out and there's a little something else about it so this is the kombucha I don't I don't know it's from youth to the people I love their skincare line and this is the 11% AHA exfoliation power toner and it means it it 100% will chemically exfoliate your skin I had heard reviews saying that oh my gosh you know it really gave me the tingles or this or that um, I do get a little bit of the tingling sensation with the pharmacy honeymoon glow and then Sunday Riley did initially, and then I didn't anymore. This one, I I didn't get any of the tingling things. So I initially thought this is not going to work. Well, first off, do not put too much on your cotton ball, your cotton square, your whatever you're doing. You need just a few dots. And it might not look like I've used much of this, but it's just because you you only need a few dots of this. Otherwise, it's going to be very sticky. It's going to be very, 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 very sticky. So make sure that you don't use much. If this does not break you out and you're looking for something that is a great AHA, whew, this really does work, you guys. The very first time I use it, and keep in mind that I use Retin-A. So I'm used to exfoliating things. I use the pharmacy. I use several different chemical exfoliators. Obviously, not at all at the same time. I'm not going to pair this with my Retin-A or anything like that. Anywho, I'm getting off topic. The very next day, I had all, like the whole side of my cheek was flaky. And in a, not a, oh, I'm dry and crepey and dehydrated, but as soon as I washed my face, it like slothed off. 
So I was immediately impressed, but I didn't like the stickiness of it. So I was like, okay, what do I do about that? And I read some more reviews saying, you know, oh, it's sticky, but if you do this, then it's not so bad. And it's still just a little bit sticky, but I don't find it to be an issue for me. I don't like stickiness and I don't find it to be an issue for me if I use just a couple drops of this. Literally three drops and just go over your face. What I did have a problem with is that it kept breaking me out and I thought, okay, I'm gonna power through it because sometimes with skincare, you can kind of go through a phase of your skin getting used to it, or they say, you know, that your skin's purging or whatever. I stopped using it, skin cleared up, started using it again, and it got worse again. And it's just, this, it breaks me out and I just can't deal with it because it's so intense. And I break out in areas that I don't typically break out. And I know it's a problem product for me if it does that. You know, if I get a breakout or two around my chin, I'm okay with it. But when my pores start to break out, I was getting breakouts right here. I know that it's just a product that just isn't going to work for me. So unfortunately, it's a hit and a miss because it is a little bit sticky. I can live with that, but I can't live with the breakouts so I kind of want to give this to somebody because it's good but it's bad for me so this is something to keep in mind I'm a little sad about that one because man it exfoliates really really well and I used it at night I did not use it in the morning I only use that at night I, I wouldn't use that during the day the next thing <laughs> girl on this is the second time this is the terracotta golden land bronzer if you read the description, it's a little misleading. I want to get, I want to make sure that I've got it exactly right. So let me go ahead and go on to the Sephora website where I read this information. <laughs> the very first thing you will see is Golden Land Terracotta Bronzing Powder. Immediately, I'm thinking bronzing powder, bronzer, you know, and I've been looking for a Galan bronzer for forever now, and I keep wanting to get the limited edition one for whatever reason. So you guys just tell me what I need to get. Just tell me what I need to get. And then in the description, it does two things. It says it's a terracotta highlighting powder that has fine golden pearlescent particles for a flawless bronzed look. So I was honestly thinking a highlighting bronzer, meaning something along the lines of kind of like Hourglass, how they have that illuminating type of bronzer. That's what I was expecting this to be, and it's not. And even as a highlighter, it's really not cute as a highlighter. Ah, the top goes. It is so yellow, you guys. It is so yellow, and the texture is not flattering. It is definitely a highlighter. Um... It's just not good. It's not good. And Guerlain, you guys are you guys are hurting my heart a little bit. I would not suggest that to anybody. I wouldn't suggest it as a highlighter. I wouldn't suggest anybody pick it up. I would just say skip it, save your money, and uh, either get a gold highlighter that is more flattering of a tone of gold, or if you're looking for a bronzer, get any other bronzer. And now let's talk about one of my most hated concealers ever, <laughs> which a lot of people love and people are asking in the video with Kelsey and I, how do you deal with the Shiseido concealer tobacco? I'm like, it's not a tobacco. I don't get it. <laughs> she likes it. She has different under eyes than I do. I hate this. <laughs> I hate the color of it. I think it is way too yellow, especially considering it's supposed to be a neutral undertone. I do not like the size of it. I don't like the size of the applicator and how this is so little and short. I don't like the actual applicator, which is like an hourglass. It's awkward. And then it shows every fine line that I have and exaggerates it. And on top of that, it makes me look so dry. The only, she, Kelsey's like one of the only people I know that this is going to look good on, but she has so the smoothest under eye you have ever seen even in person she is a she's gorgeous and then she has gorgeous skin and her under eye is just absolute perfection so it's kind of like whatever everything looks good on you <laughs> but for me that is a huge miss if you are somebody who has fine lines wrinkles crepiness that is not a concealer i would suggest for you and i think i even forgot to say the actual name it's the shiseido synchro skin self-refreshing concealer love the foundation, hate the concealer. And then lastly, but not least, because uh, I really don't like this. I recently ran out of my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. I got this one <laughs> and this is, they 
they changed the formula, didn't let us know. It's one of those things, and I've been scared to try it. I've talked to you guys about it. I bought this one, and then this one literally just fell out into my hands whenever I showed you. Uh, I got this. I decided not to go for the larger one because whenever I felt this one, it felt like it was a little bit more on the silicone-esque side. And when things are a little too silicone-y, if you will, on my pores, I can have issues with them. I love the original and this one does not work for me. I got this one. It's just, this one is 7.5 ml, whereas this one is 15. So it's half the size of the, uh, the large size. So I bought this one during the sale, the Sephora sale, and I tried it out. Give me my old one back. I do not like it. And the funny thing is, the very first time I tried it, I was going to Pilates and my makeup looked really good. I put that on. I put it on top of my MAC Skin Refined Zone like I always do. And I could, again, I can feel that it has a little bit more of that silicone slip to it, but it still filled in my pores and my makeup still looked good. However, throughout the day, it does what every other one that has too much silicone or that feel my pores started looking cakey. I started feeling like it was heavy in this area. And at first I was like, why is my makeup doing this? What is going on? What, what, what? And then I realized that I had this primer on. I've used it four other times since then. And no matter the foundation, no matter what I do, it does the same thing. So for me, this is a dead one. I will no longer be using this at all which you guys have been seeing in my description box anyway that this is the one that i've switched over to the milk blur stick i love this i take this and i put it on top of my max skin refine zone i take my finger like this i don't need much you're not even going to see it and i just press it into my pores i have no issue that is what i have on today unfortunately the new version of the tart timeless smoothing primer is a myth. This does not do good things for my pores other than initially. Initially, it does look good. Now, if you have stuck around this long, I have a giveaway for you guys. You guys know I've been doing these often and I want to continue to do them often. Sometimes it's going to be one of the things that I love for the month. Sometimes it's going to be something that a brand has sent me and sometimes it's going to be something that I purchased to review for you guys. <laughs> And I haven't gotten around to, so I don't want it to sit in my collection. I want to give it to somebody. Now, with that being said, I haven't tried this out. I feel a little awkward about giving this away because I don't know how I feel about it. But I also don't want it to just sit here. I want to give it out to somebody who really wants this, who watches my channel. And I just want to tell you that I appreciate you. So if you're interested in the Dominique Cosmetics, what is this one called? Celestial Storm. I will be giving this away. And this is what it looks like. I have not touched it, you guys. None of the shades have been touched. You can see right here. It's a beautiful palette. Beautiful palette. I have no idea how it performs. If you get it, please let me know if you like it or not. I just, I have too many things to really go and backtrack to this palette. So I want to give it to you guys. The rules are as follows. You have to be 18 or older or have your parents' permission. Void in countries where it's prohibited or anywhere prohibited by law. You don't have to do anything to enter other than let me know down below that you want this palette. That's all you have to do. You don't have to follow. You don't have to do any of this extra stuff. It's just for you guys that are watching my video and saying thank you to you guys. What is today? Today is the first, so it's going to be the same thing, a week from today, which is the 8th at 12 o'clock central time. I am going to reach out to you on the method, via the method that you give me. I can reach out to you via email if you're comfortable leaving your email address or do um, Instagram. Please leave me whatever means necessary. I don't have Twitter and stuff like that, so I can't reach out to you that way. But just leave whatever method that you would like me to reach out to you and check at 12 Central on the 8th. Last time, last two times, <laughs> I have had people miss out on their giveaway, and I feel really bad when that happens. But that's why I give you guys an exact time, an exact date, and to, you know, 
whatever means you give me, just check. I send out the notification on the dot, you guys, and make sure you are checking and you have 24 hours to get back with me. Official rules and everything will be listed down below. Other than that, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for listening to my nasally self. I hope everybody had a very, very happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.